Top 20 Call Center Manager Interview Questions and Answers One of the great ways to prepare for the hiring process is by getting the right questions and understanding the kind of answers to expect. Without this information, it would be quite difficult to identify the best individual. Thus, identifying the most experienced and skilled individual for the call center manager or team leader position demand asking relevant questions. Here are the top 20 questions and answers to facilitate your hiring process. 1. How familiar are you with the call center industry? Jobs hire candidates based on their familiarity with the particular job of interest. The interviewer is trying to gauge whether you are informed on the current stand of the industry. Tip number one. Keep your answer brief and accurate. Tip number two. Bring out the primary significance of the industry. Sample answer. The call center industry works to receive and transmit massive inquiries via phone. It involves associates working in centralized offices to handle calls from multiple people. Correspondingly, they utilize technology massively to provide pleasant customer experience. Such diversification has brought significant change in today's digital age, as many job opportunities are promised. 2. How do you understand the job description of working in call center? Call centers are fundamental for any business. They are often the primary means of communication between a company and its clients. The interviewer mainly wants to know how informed you are about the job that you are applying for. Tip number one. Go straight to the point and avoid mulling about the answer. Tip number two. Explain briefly how call centers help humanity. Sample answer. Primarily, the call center is a service desk. An individual is in charge of answering calls to provide relevant feedback to clients. As customers are faced with product problems daily, call associates to provide more personalized help by interacting with specific individuals for timely solutions. 3. How best can you communicate to customers? Call centers have multiple ways of communicating with customers. The ideal approach would determine whether they would get immediate solutions. Tip number 1. Begin with the most effective channel for communication. Tip number 2. Be precise with your answer. Sample answer. I always use the most effective method based on the situation at hand. I always use alternative communication channels to reach customers on time. Similarly, I develop standard operation procedures, SOPs, for my staff to attend to customers and handle them effectively. 4. Why should we hire you for the job? Questions regarding competencies create a platform for interviewers to weigh the talents and skills of the applicants. Tip number 1 present the most significant talents and skills. Tip number two, mention your relevance in increasing profitability for the company. Sample answer, my experience in a call canter industry for eight years, educational background, and personality fit the job perfectly. Besides, I am hardworking, self-motivated, and a quick learner. Thus, I will execute this role effectively and as expected. Five, what types of call centers do you know? Mention their differences businesses consider different types of call centers for particular service and product needs that require attention and more customer service help. Tip number one. Briefly describe the different types of call centers, including responsibilities. Tip number two. Support your answer with an example. Sample answer. Call centers can be inbound or outbound. In the inbound type, Customer associates receive calls from customers to respond to their questions, queries and demands. Services provided include emergency services such as 911. Outbound call centers focus on the associate making calls to customers about their business or sales, for example, banks calling their customers. Help desks are also involved to provide technical support. 6. What's your take on customer satisfaction? The goals of every business are geared towards ensuring that customers are satisfied with particular products and services. The interviewer wants to know your take on how customers appreciate the brand and how it makes them feel. Tip number one. Bring out the role of a customer associate in relation to it. Tip number two. Answer from a customer perspective. Sample answer. Customer associates have to understand the problems and needs of clients. In light of this, Customer satisfaction is about thinking from customers' point of view to meet their demands effectively. 7. How would you handle a situation where a customer uses abusive language on phone? As human as to error, 
Customers are likely to get annoyed when particular products or services do not meet their expectations. Business should know how to handle such situations to avoid losing. Tip number one. Demonstrate that you can handle abusive clients. Tip number two. Provide the steps you would follow to deal with the customer. Sample answer. I would first stay calm and understand the problem from the customer's perspective. I would also listen to him or her attentively to gauge the source of the problem. After calming him down, I would give some assurance that his issues would be resolved as soon as possible. Similarly, I would consider the unpleasant situation to do more assessment, hence avoiding repetition. 8. Have you ever worked as a call center manager before? Here, the interviewer is looking for experience to determine whether you are the best fit for the position. Tip number 1. Give an answer that relates you with a call center manager. Tip number 2. Mention your achievements. Sample answer. Yes, I have worked in the phone line digital company as a call center manager. I started in 2012 until June this year. During my time there, I improved multiple performances of the customer service base. I addressed customers' issues quickly without holding or abandoning their calls. I also met significant service level agreements, SLAs, to improve productivity and quality of service. 9. What are the key attributes of a call center manager? Highly experienced call center managers play a big role in determining whether customer service associates deliver outstanding assistance to customers. They also promote a high retention capacity of the customers, as well as employees. The interviewer wants to establish if you have the skills to drive a successful business. Tip number one. Mention key attributes to reflect your experience. Tip number two. Focus on the main points. Sample answer. Call center managers are responsible for leading other agents towards the realization of organizational goals. They manage call center operations, staff and customer expectations. 10. How can you tell that a particular customer service is good? Every business wants to ensure that they can meet customer expectations. Here, the interviewer is looking at keenness to notice improvement. Tip number one. Don't give fluffy examples. Tip number two. Don't lean towards praising the company. Sample answer. I would assess the number of customers who return for more services and check positive customer feedback against the complaints received. Besides, I would look at referrals from customers to our company, measure sales to determine our stand in the business market as well as look at competitors to benchmark from them. 11. What if our call center breaks laws for profitability? Are you still willing to work with us for a huge pay? The interviewer is trying to measure your moral standards in relation to business ethics. Tip number one. As much as the job looks promising, it would be best to pass. Tip number two. Answer promptly without mulling. Sample answer. I uphold the integrity and excellent personal ethics in any business organization. While this position seems promising, I consider major moral factors when seeking for a job. Therefore, I will have to decline this job position regretfully. 12. How would you handle customers who deny paying for our products or services? The interviewer is trying to weigh how you can handle such situations without bringing losses to the company. Tip number one. Demonstrate that you can handle difficult customers. Tip number two. Answer from an emotional perspective. Sample answer. First, I would communicate in writing to the customer, asking him or her for prompt payment. I would also call the customer to establish why he or she doesn't want to pay as required. Then, I would consult with the relevant office to seek support in compelling the client to make the payment. Seeking help from a collection agency would be my last resort. 13. How would you handle challenges as a call center manager? The interviewer seeks to know whether you can effectively handle challenging situations. Tip number one. Think promptly about a solution to challenging situations. Tip number two. Demonstrate that you can handle and provide solutions to different issues. Sample answer. I always ensure to find the root cause of any issues at work because a problem cannot be eliminated without solving the underlying problem. By identifying the causes of challenges at the call center, I would address those causes appropriately so that the problem doesn't reoccur. 14. How can you deal with unreasonable customer demands? The interviewer is trying to assess your patience and ability to address situations that seem unpleasant. 
Tip number one. Keep it short and clear. Tip number two. Don't be complicated, as you may be forming a platform for the next question. Sample answer. I would measure the demands of the customer to understand what he wants before allocating anything to him. In case I missed the step, I would respond in a way that refrains from conflicts between the customer and me. If his demands make the least sense, I would suggest more reasonable options. Illegitimate demands would also prompt me to say no without hesitation while maintaining patience all the way. 15. What approaches would you take to enhance customer satisfaction? All businesses are looking for ways of making their services better. The interviewer wants to find out if you are innovative enough to bring positive change to the organization. Tip number one. Emphasize on the company and not you. Tip number two. Define the scope of improvement clearly. Sample answer. I would employ particular techniques like talking to customers to more personally. In this case, calling them would create a sense that the company cares. I would also use the problems that arise as platforms to figure out the preferences of customers and what they would want in the future. Similarly, I would offer something back to genuine customers whom we risk losing because of unpleasant issues. These can be anything from discounts to rewards and coupons. 16. How would you be of help in assisting us build customer loyalty? Simply put, the interviewer is assessing whether you would build the company profit-wise. Tip number one. Provide a practical answer. Tip number two. Give the impression that you can offer solutions. Sample answer. I would survey the customers to track their retention. Analyzing relevant company data would also be significant in knowing first-time customers and frequent ones. Subsequently, I would create a plan to motivate new customers to come back for more services. Employees would also need to build secure positive connections with customers to retain them. In short, it all runs down to making customers feel that they matter. 17. What aspects would you consider when implementing CRM? The questions are mainly targeting your experience. Tip number one. Provide two or three CRM aspects to consider. Tip number two. Briefly explain each aspect. Sample answer. The CRM strategy. CRM is only valid when there is a clear picture to define why a company is using it and how it would improve the services provided to customers. CRM partner. The ideal CRM partner would contribute towards the profitability of the business. The most suitable solutions are flexible enough to be integrated into full capacity. Consider priority. Implementing a CRM solution effectively calls for the highest priority and return area. 18. How can you manage call center operations, employees effectively? In a call center setting, effective management of operations defines the productivity of staff and the monitoring of calls for enhanced customer experience. Tip number one. Mention the efficiency of various approaches. Tip number two. Be brief and to the point. Sample answer. I will arrange the roster to ensure efficient scheduling. It would give employees time to recharge and refocus. I would also employ suitable SOPs to handle customers and carry out various tasks and procedures. 19. How would you address a situation whereby systems shut down when on a customer call? The interviewer is trying to assess how you can handle unexpectedly unpleasant situations. Tip number one. Go straight to the point. Tip number two. Demonstrate that you can deal with such a challenge. Sample answer. I would request the customer politely to hold for some time as a try to resolve the issue. Subsequently, I would address his problem based on my knowledge if there seems to be a delay with the systems. A situation whereby the system failure is likely to prolong would probe me call them back once everything is okay. 20. What strategies would you use to measure call center performance? Call centers use various metrics to weigh the performance of operations. Tip number one. Provide a few call center metrics. Tip number two. Explain the relevance of call center metrics. Sample answer. I would evaluate significant KPIs, including the average abandonment rates, respond times, resolution rates, and call times. I would also prepare weekly and monthly reports for SLA and report on agent performance. They would help me to measure the overall performance at the call center. Conclusion. Call center or team leader positions demand high levels of experience. 
Therefore, interviewers have to know the right questions to ask to promote the brand of the company, as well as ethics and moral values. Similarly, job applicants have to be well equipped and knowledgeable about the positions they are applying for. Only then will they be able to give reliable and viable answers.